And welcome back to Final Fantasy X-2. God damn it, you know when you like have like a catchphrase and you become hyper aware of it? Yeah. Oh, I just I felt that there. Hello friends! Let's <laughs> Hello, continue. people, it's David here! Let's just continue with Ten Two Adventures. Alright, so here we are in Mushroom Rock. Um Shinra's doing his thing, as he's ought to do. Setting up comm spheres, depriving us of Lady Luck dress spheres, being a little shit. Thanks, Shinra. The CCTV is getting around. <laughs> yeah, it was slowly uh, getting a view on the world. This is really funny, um, because... Oh, hello, Eyeball. No need for concern, Lady Yuna. Everything's under control. The fiends got close to our headquarters, but thankfully no further. The Albed from Jose assisted us in fighting them off. So, Gibble was here? Yes, his group also brought us these Machina. You know, he said something which still strikes me as sort of odd. He told us not to depend on you so much, Lady Yuna. Me? He said we need to rely on our own strength to defend Spira through the coming age. Lady Yuna, if I may interrupt, there is something I would like to ask you. Sure. So uh, the point I was going to make earlier is the fact that if you're with New Yevon and you put a commsphere here, they fuck it up. <laughs> New Yevon, no, the Youth League just fucking shoot it. <laughs> and like, likewise for Bavel, it's great. Like, whichever one doesn't like you is not okay with you setting up CCTV footage. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I mean... For security purposes, of course. Exactly, we're looking after you. We're the Gullwings. Yeah. We're your friendly neighbourhood big brothers. And we know what you're doing at any given time. <laughs> It's just a bit of friendly surveillance. <laughs> Nothing uh, untoward in any way. <laughs> it's not spying, it's security. Yeah, it's very different, okay? Anyway, um, yeah, that's... Uh, it's for the greater good. <laughs> for the greater good. Let us move on. Oh, I, uh, in a previous episode, I did bring up the prospect of me getting my fucking ass kicked by a chocobo, didn't I? Did I, I, I did bring up that prospect. Okay, cool. Just wanted to show you this battle. I, yeah, we've already seen these enemies, but yeah, I want to show you this battle. Just wanted you to get a feel for what it's like when a chocobo kicks your fucking teeth in. With <laughs> choco meat. <laughs> just fuck. When a you know, chocobo just fucking sephiroths you. You know that feeling, yeah? <laughs> you just get fucking- and then it leaves! <laughs> Can we not almost die next time? He just comes in and meteorites you and then just fucks <laughs> off! That's amazing! What the fuck, game? Why? <laughs> fucking chocobo! They're so sweet and innocent! Not when they're sh fucking causing cosmic entities to break your fucking skull! <laughs> anyway... Who needs a high summoner to take out bloody hey. sin? Just get a chocobo. Yeah, chocobo will do it. We have a name. You seem close. We made quite a couple. Oh. Kiki Nowi Choik. <laughs> Riku's always good for a laugh. If you're here about digging, this isn't the best time. Well, there were fiends here too, right? Want us to clean up for ya? Fiend hunting? What? You guys give up the sphere gig? Temporarily. Right now, we're helping people out. Maybe you'd like to hire us? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Rejection! We can't go running to you every time we get into trouble. Hmm, I watch my own back. Hmm, show off. I watch my own back, despite my terrible depth perception. You too. Like, right. what if an enemy comes from his right side? Yeah, I'm fucked on the right hand side. Left hand side, I've got this. Alrighty, well, at least we've got a primer out of that deal. So that's nice, I guess. Anyway, let's head up to the moon flow. What's going on up here? Oh, fun mission. Very fun mission here. So, um, Sam, do you like business? Um... Oh, this won't do. It won't do at all. We finally put it on, eh? The show, of course. But 
There's no passion, no climax. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot off. Oh, wait, no, there's no mission here. I got a bit mixed up. Um, I was thinking of chapter two. Yeah, no. We, yeah, I was about to say, yeah, in chapter we had to go and sell the tickets. Yeah, no, I'm thinking of a different thing. Yeah, totally <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> totally, you fucked up. You did a bad show. Sorry, Tobley. <laughs> Don't worry, Tobley. I'm sure your next show will make up for it. Next show? How can there be a next show when the first show made the next show a no show? Well, one thing, surely for sure, I need to attract celebrities to attract an audience. Huh. Got any celebrities in mind? Well, let's see, let's see the most celebrated celebrity. Eureka! Yuna, run. What's wrong? Don't ask, just run. Run now, run fast. Um, okay. Wait, wait, wait! Just a moment! Keep running. Hey, what's gotten into you? Do you really need to ask? You know what he's planning, right? This is our big chance. It might be fun. <sighs> what do you want from us, little guy? Oh, oh, he, do he doesn't actually want anything from us. He j that was just the cutscene. Okay, <laughs> well, nothing else in the moon flow. Let's go. Th let's go further forward. We've we've bits through most of Spira for this chapter. We're making pretty good tracks so far for chapter three. Yeah. <laughs> you get around. Yeah. Goddamn. Not actually a lot going on in this chapter. I guess most of chapter three revolves around the Aeon battles when we get to those. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, hello. Mysterious building. Yes, please. Thank you very much. I'll come back there later. Anyway, um... Probably some poor person having a nice romantic meal. Well, <laughs> let's fuck them up. <laughs> let's ruin their evening. Because <laughs> we're sphere hunters. That That's what we do. LeBlanc. There's nothing to worry about. Not even close. Let's see you do it then. <clears throat> oh, LeBlanc, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Look who's talking! What are you doing? Oi! The boss has been rather depressed since Nuge went missing. We wants to comfort her, see? Oh! Was that supposed to be Nuge? That bad, was it? Yep. <laughs> Even if you did sound like Nuge, do you think it would actually help? It would. You know, I I've made parallels between the LeBlanc Syndicate and Team Rocket before, but they like are one-to-one. -one. They match up perfectly. Like LeBlanc is evidently Jesse, down to her character and the way she acts. Logos being like all like flamboyant and charismatic is clearly James, and then you've got little Ormy who's, <laughs> who's, meowth. who's meowth, yeah. Leave me alone. Don't you want to hunt some spheres? The gullings are gonna get all the spheres and spear, you know. Fine by me. There's no point in chasing after spheres if my Nuji Wuji isn't there to smile. What difference does it make? You're a mess. Say whatever you want. Wow, I mean... <laughs> I love it, Peck. You're a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like... Brutal. LeBlanc's a villain you love to hate, so I actually don't like seeing her like this. I want her to be more... I, I mean this in the nicest way. I want her to be more of a bitch. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want her to be sad. I want her to be mean. Oh, LeBlanc. What if we showed her a sphere of Nuge? Why ask us? Go for it. Of course, that sphere. We took one in Bavel. Care to watch it? What's on it? We haven't looked yet. Meet us in our room. No oh, God. To have a little screaming. Okay, this isn't sounding very... That does sound very forward, guys. I mean, yeah. I like you, but <laughs> come on. Oh, God. So, um, yeah, if LeBlanc didn't seem uh, depressed enough, she's apparently let her basement fall into disrepair because it's still full of fucking fiends. 
Why would the basement have fiends in it? <laughs> Log Lo Logos and Obby's bedroom is down here. Why are there fiends in the corridors? Are they your pets? Like, what happened? Also, this is training. This is an extension of Seymour's house. So, did Seymour have all of this? Also, he must have. He was kind of a twisted, sick fucker. So he just had a he just had a a pain dungeon full of monsters for murder purposes. Yeah. If he got upset with someone, he threw him down here. Holy shit! I've just only thought of that now. Well, I mean, you came up with the idea, but fuck. Wow. Any servants? What wind him up? Down you go. Into the death pit. Death is but a sweet release. I'm Seymour. I love me some death. <laughs> anyway, this is the moment where I'm like, wait a fucking second, I think I've missed something. Oh, well, I'm gonna do this battle first, but I went into that room, and when you look on the map, it kind of highlights the shape of the room? So I'm a bit like, wait a second, there's something I've missed there, I need to go back there and re-explore it, after I've killed these basconets. These horribly defensive boys. <laughs> they just tank all of the damage. Should remind me of like a brick and metapod. Harden! They just yeah, they do harden sit there and harden, and it makes it very hard to kill them. Harden! <laughs> harden, yeah. That's their strategy. Harden this motherfuckers. Boom! <laughs> Get wrecked. Get wrecked with electricity. That works too. Come on. Do a die. Do a die. Do a death. Is it just me or are they getting bigger? <laughs> Very big. There we are. I keep, I need to stop call, trying to call it. <laughs> so I feel like an idiot yeah. right now. <laughs> I keep calling it at the wrong time. Yeah, you look very good at the time and that. I'm really not. Um, yeah, basconets. There you go. I'll tell you what, this is a little, I do have a little opportunity here to talk about Oversoul. I thought Oversoul was a thing that could happen at random. It actually kicks in when you've killed X amount of a certain type of enemy. So the game does actually have a little, um, a counter of how many enemies you've killed and how close you are to oversouling any given enemy. And the game oh, wow. does, it tracks how many oversold enemies you've killed as well. It's kind of like, and I'll rarely relate to this game in a positive light, but it's kind of like with Lightning Returns and how you could drive certain enemies to extinction. Over ah. Yeah, you can oversoul. You can kill enemies until you reach an oversoul state. At which point, you've killed that form of enemy in its peak form. So yeah. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I went back in that room, found the Crimson Sphere, as I said I would, which is great. Want to collect all of those? Let's go watch some movies with the boys. Let's have a movie night in. Wait, is this both their room? I guess so. Maybe they're just very, very close. No, Ormi would not fit on that bed. This could not be... This must be Logos' room. <laughs> Ormi is a very big boy. He needs more than that bed. What's this? Not me. Awkwards. So I see. <laughs> <laughs> Logo, you piece of shit. Who you <laughs> We fucking caught you being a perv. <laughs> There's someone there. Really? Where? Where? Yeah, where? I'll zoom in. Holy shit, you've got some eagle eyes if you could spot that. Oh my god. It's Nuge! <laughs> Logo, stop zooming in on people's asses. You clearly <laughs> have a thing for this. But both <laughs> even men and females. I was gonna obviously. say, he's, yeah, good, good for him. But still, he likes stop, the belts. Stop, <laughs> stop being a. <laughs> it's the belts he's zooming in on. He has the same fetish as Nomura. Secrets. It's just one thing. It's just the belts. <laughs> hey, you're wearing a belt. I gotta have a look at that. Ooh. Please, but I'd prefer you not mention this to the boss. Why not? 
Whatever this Vegna gun thing is, it's clearly dangerous. Nothing the likes of we sphere hunters have any business fooling around with. Logos are smart. But if the boss knew Nuge <laughs> were involved, well, there'd be no stopping her. If anything were to happen to her. You guys got it rough, don't you? If only she noticed. He's also freakishly tall, have you noticed that? Yes. He's I like have. twice our height. That he's a very tall boy. He's a tall lad. Anyway, let's get another sphere. Is this one from Bevel too? Ooh, been taking naughty pictures again. I didn't shoot this one. I found it. The image is badly deteriorated. Must be old. Ah, the only reason the war is dragging on is because Zanarkin refuses to surrender. You're wrong! <gasps> if you'd stop attacking, there wouldn't be a war! We're not falling for that. Who's that? Gah. Who do you think? Titus. Someday, your precious weapons will end up destroying you. Titus all grown up! <laughs> You're sort of right. I'll just say that, you're sort of right. He's probably referring to the Machina War of a thousand years past. When did you sneak in, old man? <laughs> you just... You just arrived? <laughs> hey, Machin, what the fuck is up? <laughs> what are you doing here? <clears throat> I must admit... The likeness is positively uncanny. It can't really be him, can it? I'm afraid not. After all, that sphere was recorded a thousand years ago. Right. Of course. Hmm? Hmm. Would you like to hear more? Lady Yuna, a rumor has been going around late. Perhaps you've heard it. They say that High Summoner Yuna was accompanied by a guardian from, of all places, Zanakand. Oh, yes. That young man raised quite a few eyebrows at the Blitzball tournament in Luka. I spoke to him myself on a number of occasions. I could sense that he belonged to an other world. That he should look so much like the man in that sphere cannot be mere coincidence, I should think. There's a connection. There is. I would very much like the chance to ask him and clear this matter up once and for all. But he's gone. Just like the Faith said, our dream will vanish. A dream of the Faith? Is that right? Hmm. Oh my. What is it? Oh, oh, oh. I had something on the tip of my tongue, but then it slipped away. You know what, Matron? You, 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 you don't really need to try and... When I first played this game, I kind of cottoned on what's going on at this point. You know how Tidus and the Zanakin that he inhabited were dreams of the faith? Yeah. So obviously Zanakin was destroyed, so they create... The faith dreamed of a fake Zanakin. Now, the people in that Zanakin, obviously the faith would have based those on the real people that died in Zanakin, yes? Yeah. So who do you think the Tidus we're seeing is? The actual... He's the actual Tidus, yes. That's who... Um, that's who our guy is, the guy we're hunting for. He's the actual real Tidus. The Tedus. real Tidus, the guy oh, who just Tedus a is. Yeah. So that's a bit of a mind fuck. That's an interesting route for this game to go in. So there you go. I kind of dig that as an idea. I really like that. So the, that, the Tidus what Yuna knows isn't necessarily that Tidus. No. He's not no. that Tidus. No, he's a different guy. The Tidus that we know and love from the first game, Jet Jr. <laughs> yeah, he 
he is a dream of sh- oh, I nearly, nearly spoiled the name there <laughs> he is a dream of this uh, of this mystery tedious we've been seeing in this game now the question is um, what what's gonna happen when we encounter this mystery tedious be sure if it's a short thousand years up if it was a thousand years ago hmm that's true that's true that's very true. Well then, wh- where are the gold wings gonna go then? Where's that gonna lead the gold wings? Considering now, if we put the pieces together, for all intents and purposes, this guy's clearly dead, so... Yeah. What's gonna spur Uniron? What's gonna keep her going on with this quest? He's real. Still, he's still alive. But, in, but it's a different guy. It's technically a different it's his great, guy. great, 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 great grandson. It's not even his great grandson, it's like... I'm gonna. I don't want to bring Kingdom Hearts into this because that's gonna complicate things even further. But okay. Tidus is the nobody to this real Tidus guy that we haven't met yet. So yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, these are the Ronzo guys from earlier. Those two Ronzo boys who ran away. Um, you get to choose where they go for the next chapter. Doesn't really affect that much where you send them. You can send them wherever. It doesn't make a big deal. Yeah. It's just a nice little detail. I like that the game gives you that choice. Anyway, we are making stupidly good time for this episode. We're already in Macalania Woods. Let's power through Macalania. If we go right to the end here, I do believe there's a, a mission for us to deal with. Oh yes, quite a mission. So, this is something of a gauntlet. You have to endure six battles in a row. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but some of these enemies can do pretty goddamn hefty damage. So bring an alchemist with you, spam mega potions, that's generally how you get through these sorts of things. Don't be afraid, <laughs> just don't be afraid to spam that mega potion. I know it seems OP, and that's because it is. But in case like these, you <laughs> and need to. Yeah, there's no downside to it, just do it. Anyway, um, we have... Yeah, these guys, these big fucking Chimera bastards, these are the ones that make it a real pain. And they're Aqua Breaths though, they're bloody Aqua Breaths. Ow. Yeah, that, that's quite a good chunk of damage to the whole party if it connects. So the first thing you want to do is kill the uh, Vertigo there, because you don't want your team members getting confused. And then when you get the chance, you then focus all of your attacks on this mean boy. I'm going to try a little bit of the slots. God damn it, why do I ever bother with the slots? <laughs> can never get a good result. Never satisfying. It's not like uh, it's not like in Final Fantasy VII where you had slots as limit breaks and even if you got a bad roll you still Holy did damage. Holy shit! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it's not like in Final Fantasy VII where Kate Slith's bad slots were still pretty good for damage. Like, sometimes you can just completely whiff it. With the Lady Luck. So, yeah. I think that's the last of them. How are the people inside? Let's go look. Oh, well, did you just skip all of the battles? Yeah, this is six ba- this is five battles later. I, I think you know what battles look like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll spare you that. I got lots of items, though. Hey. And another garment grid. And a garment grid. Not a dress sphere, but a garment grid. Don't talk. Save your strength. Phoenix down. Better than that. Much better than that. We, we can be berserkers now. Oh god. We can finally, finally embrace our fursonas. <laughs> oh, sorry, look on your face as I said that. <laughs> yeah, you can... The berserkers in this game are very cat girl. So now we can be angry cat girls who drop kick enemies. It's great. God. So, uh... Yeah, that was actually quite dark, that scene. Like, those guys are dead. Yeah, they were debt collectors, and I have very little sympathy for debt collectors. But they're fucking dead. So, uh... Go on, Awaka. Yeah, I guess Awaka's gonna take charge now. 
Then I'll just have to start selling to fiends, won't I? Yeah, you tell him, Awaka. I owe it to those lads who died defending me shop, and I'll not be letting them down. Ye will come and stop in once in a while, won't ye? You have a massive discount with him, don't you? Um, I don't know if that... Well, he, he, you, can't, you can't really buy from him now anyway. He's still setting up. It's chapter five where you get to come and use his wares, or, you know, take advantage of what he has, but... Yeah, uh, I think because yeah, but because I kill because I cleared his debt, you do get some good shit from him, and for cheap. So, woohoo! Yeah. I don't know if the infinite money exploit is still there, but again, good shit's good shit. Anyway, uh, here we are in the uh, I don't know what this area is even called. The weird place where the spheromorph was, I guess, and where you have made sweet sweet love. No, that's the lake. You keep making that mistake. That was the lake. That was down at the bottom of the... Oh, that's... yeah, it was, yeah. Right? That's the far side of the woods. Stop getting so randy for Titus and you in a makeout session. <laughs> I can't help it, okay? It's the most romantic moment in video game history. <laughs> I can't not. Oh, hello, little Sphermorph. Or friendly Sphermorph. This one doesn't fight you. He just kind of sits there, being adorable. Anyway, if you go up to it, it gives you a garment grid, weirdly enough. Nice. Anyway, see you in the next episode, everyone. Yep. See you later, guys.